Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eliela. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. And if you've been watching me before, thank you so much for coming back. Um, make sure you like this video at the end and feel free to ask questions as usual. So let's get into the video. Today's video is about what is expected of you as a graduate student. What is expected of you as a graduate student in whatever country you are planning to go for grad school or in whatever country you already are uh, for your grad school, what are the things that are expected of you when you call yourself a graduate student? What are the expectations that people have, that the school have, and just like that. So the first expectation is that you should have answered some questions. As a graduate student, when you say you're a graduate student, people expect that you should have answers to some questions. And those questions are like, why are you in grad school? What will you do with this degree and what goals what long-term goals will this degree help you to achieve so those are like the three questions that people expect that you have answers to when people meet you and say you're a graduate student sometimes they want to ask one of those questions so you're expected to have answers to those questions and really only you can answer those questions these questions are something that you should have answered even before coming to grad school in your process of planning like you should know why you're going for the degree what are you going to do with the degree and like what long-term goals will this degree like help you to achieve so like you're expected to have answers to those questions yes next thing that is expected of you as a graduate student is that you should be self-motivated and you should be able to take responsibility for your success and your failures you should be somebody that is independent like you don't expect people to be pushing you around to study to do your own work to do your quiz and stuff like that you should be somebody that you can push yourself to do what you're supposed to do in order to achieve your goals. You should be accountable to yourself. You should be a self-starter. Like, you don't really need somebody to motivate you. You're a graduate student. So you are somebody that people see as you can motivate yourself and you can take responsibility. You can do what you're supposed to do. You can evaluate. You can learn from mistakes and from failure. You are seen as that kind of person. It is expected of you to be able to take responsibility. Like take responsibility like you're expected to be self-motivated you shouldn't be somebody that is waiting for someone to push you <laughs> you are a graduate student you know what you want to do with this degree you know why you are here so you should be able to motivate yourself to do what you're supposed to do you should be proactive so as a graduate student that's something that is expected of you you should never forget that and it should just come naturally anyway because you have a goal you're, you're in grad school for this ad like this advanced degree and all of that so Definitely something is motivating you the end result like the light at the end of the tunnel is always motivating you so like and that should always be your Motivator you shouldn't be waiting for something to motivate you not like you won't have times where you're like Feeling down or frustrated, but that light at the end of the tunnel should be able to motivate you To take responsibility and do what you're supposed to do The next thing that is expected of you as a graduate student is that you should be a great communicator you should be able to communicate well, respectfully, with your colleagues, your peers, your advisor, your lecturers. Like, great communication is key because it will help you to have productive collaborations. So you should be somebody that can communicate well. You should be somebody that is proactive when it comes to communication. You shouldn't let people like assume. You shouldn't wait for people to assume what you mean. If you know that something is going to be due tomorrow and maybe you are having some problems, you should be able to communicate that to your advisor or to your lecturer. When you're having a group project or a group work, you should be somebody that is able to communicate well, to update others. You should not be somebody that doesn't know how to communicate or somebody that doesn't communicate at all. You should be somebody that can communicate well. It is expected of you to be a great communicator, somebody who can communicate respectfully and properly. So it is just something, and it will really help you, like, it will really help you because it will help you to be bold when it comes to networking, especially when you go for conferences, or for career fairs and all of that it will help you to network well like, and, all of, and build great relationships so being a great communicator is what's expected of you as a graduate student another thing that's expected of you as a graduate student is that you should be organized you already know the requirements of your degree you already know what is expected of you like the courses you're supposed to register and all of that you should be proactive you also know like the rules of your school of your department and the do's and don'ts you are expected to know that you're not supposed to plagiarize and all of that so in your homework your test your exam there should be organization 
in your writing there should be organization you are a graduate student you are not in undergrad so like everything you are doing should show organization even if it is your quiz in the way you ask questions in class there should be organization the way you put things together like the way you put your words together when writing on discussion boards or something like that it should be organized when writing an email sending an email to your advisor or to your lecturer there should be organization you don't just do things haphazardly as a graduate student because people have high expectations of you oh she's a grad student he's a grad student he's a phd student so like there's expectation of you so you have to be organized you can't be doing things haphazardly so like that is something that is really expected of you and another thing is you're expected to work smart hard work is important but you should be somebody that is able to work smart work smart is as important as working hard yeah so to the last thing that is expected of you as a graduate student you should be a time manager like you should have good time management skills you should know that there are some things you can't procrastinate because when you procrastinate them like it's going to be deadly so like you should be somebody that can plan and manage your time well you will have time to relax to to play and all of that to hang out but you should also like be able to place your priorities right what is expected of me to do when is the due date for this you should be able to manage your time because grad school trust me can be time consuming i'm still going to make a video about the lifestyle of a graduate student like grad school lifestyle i'm going to make a video about that so like as a graduate student you're expected to be somebody who can manage the time well because sometimes some grad students have to work while also study some grad students have a family they have kids while also study so like all these things show that you should be somebody that can manage time you should avoid procrastinating you should avoid giving time to things that don't really matter as a graduate student so like you're expected to be proactive you're expected to be a great great communicator you're expected to be organized you're expected to have answered some questions you're expected to work smart and you're expected to be like a great time manager so like those are the things that i really think i expected of you as a graduate student and there are things you should start working on if you are planning on being a graduate student soon so like that is it for this video please give this video a like share this video with others um if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and uh, ask your questions in the comments and i'll get back to them so like uh, guys i'll see you in my next video i'll be uploading a new video soon like after this one there'll be another video coming up and all of that so like thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video please keep staying safe out there bye guys much love